Let's do a book haul. Gosh, you got my list of feeling a shady. Book talk is the reason why every time when I get small money, I buy a new book. And I feel like it's not sustainable, but you know what? You know, it's okay. As long as I'm enriching my mind, I get it. That's what I'm, I'm enriching my mind. It's fine. The, the specific way, let me just open the box. Also, while I open this box, guys, there's a link in my bio. Click that link and invite your friends to join TikTok. I, I still don't understand how some people don't have this app. But yeah, those friends that don't have TikTok, the ones who, they, you know, when you make a TikTok joke and they don't understand, invite them to 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 join us here on tiktok and you can actually make money because you know if you invite them there and then they like the app and they stay on the app long enough or for as long as possible you can actually earn points yeah and then you can actually take those points and actually you know exchange them for money so i'm not saying use your friends for money i'm just saying stay woke you know <laughs> All of the author, all of the authors in here are female authors, so I'm really, really excited because it's in Bogota month in South Africa. So this makes me really, really excited. Wait, wait. Let me start with the the thing that has me in a chokehold right now. I am Team Jeremiah. That's all I'm gonna say. I am Team Jeremiah, and I am finally, finally, finally getting a chance to have the books because I want to see. What is up with people who are Team Conrad? Because people are like, no, oh my gosh, if you read the books, you'll become Team Connie. I'm telling you now, I'm going to read these books. I'm going to read these books and I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you that I am still Team Jeremiah. This is the trilogy series, um, The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. And uh, ooh, now I must, if I, I'm, I'm going to open it, I'm going to open it. Um, Jenny Han is the lady that wrote um, the books uh, to all the boys I've loved before. I want to figure out what the hell's going on with Conrad. Is he really all of that and a bag of chips? Or oh, thinking eh, all that and a bag of chips. Like, okay, but apparently, yeah, no, they did say that they're quite short. The books are quite short. There's like 280 something pages. So hopefully I'll be able to sit this and just chew it up. Uh, now the reason why I got these books ne, was because right now they are on season two and I want to figure out who is Bailey going to choose in the end. And I personally hope she chooses Jeremiah, but deep down I know because Bailey is a teenager, she's going to choose Conrad. If Bailey was in her 20s, she would have chosen Jeremiah. Jeremiah is open and honest. Like you, you don't, he never keeps her guessing. Even in like the first day they kissed in the pool, he said, um, you've always been my best friend, but sometimes I wish we were more. He doesn't keep her guessing. I say Dirle Madi Buseng. I feel like Conrad again Madi Buseng, honestly. I can go on and on. The second book set I got is Emily Henry. And again, I have to open this again now. This particular author and book talk. All of these, I'm a romance girl, guys. I'm a romance girly through and through. All of these books are romance um, books and stuff like that. Because I feel like it, like something must work out for me. Like, it, as much as not happening for me in real life right now, at least in my books, man, you know. So, these books on book talk. The, the people are divided. Like, people are saying this book, Beach Read, is not that good. But the amount of people who are who actually gave this book a five star it, i think it it's more than the people who don't really like it so i'm really excited to read this and it's basically a book about this girl who loses her dad and finds out that the dad was a cheater imagine um and then while she's still dealing with grief she actually goes to spend a few days at his lake house um and she's also an author so she's trying to get over this writer's block that she has. How did pa, pa, pa. She meets this guy who they used to be rivals in like university and stuff like that. And then they bond over the fact that they both have writer's block and wara wara wara. Uh, they challenge each other. Hore no. They must basically write um, each other or write books in, in each other's um, genres. Because she, she writes romance and he writes um, fiction. So they're going to swap genres and see what happens. And I feel like they fall in love or something like that. But I, I want to see. I want to read what happens and then the next one is book lovers and apparently this particular book um has a really really strong sisterhood theme and i really like that because i feel like we don't really see a lot of like sisterhood um it's always about girl meets guy or maybe your brother's best friend and everything but we don't really get to see a lot of sibling love and apparently sibling love in this particular book called book lovers is a big thing 
uh then there's you and me on vacation now this book is about two friends right um they, that made a pact for to know they're gonna go on vacation every year and then one day on one of those vacations things happen but they don't tell us exactly what so it's one of those books where something happens we don't know what happens until we know what happens you know and stuff like that and these are all this is these are the uk versions of the book there are the us versions of the book and what's really irritating me is that in these two books particularly there are like differences for example apparently this book has a completely different ending to the us one and i feel like it's going to be the bane of my existence now i have to read this book and then i have to find the other ending so that i can have peace in my life and why couldn't she just publish one book like ish emily I have bone to pick with you, babes. The last series that I got, again, book talk is divided. Let's start with the fact that I'm already upset because the covers don't match. Yeah, the covers don't match. And me, I, ooh, the covers don't match. It's not the same font. Anyways, guys, I've decided, Mina, that God wants to take me to places where I am around billionaires because I feel like most of my book boyfriends nowadays, Alex Volkov being the, the number one at the top is a millionaire. And I feel like I just am really attracted to books where there's a lot of like billionaires, gazillionaires. And these men have all of the money in the world. And these three books, is it the same font, guys? Can I stress? This better be the same font. It's just going to really upset me. Anyways, these books are by Lauren Asher. And this is the, I'll tell you now, the Dreamland Billionaire series, right? It basically follows three brothers who've been given an inheritance by their grandfather. Mm -hmm. And he basically has tiny little clauses for each of them to in for each of them so in order for them to get the inheritance they basically have to do exactly like as they are told in order for them to claim inheritance for example this guy right he has to renovate um dreamland which is basically like a disneyland right and he ends up falling in love with um the lady who he hires to help him do that and it becomes very complicated so for terms and conditions this guy basically is going to be the ceo of the family's media empire right? um and his, his grandfather basically said in order for him to become the ceo he has to get married and have a, and sire an heir and that's the only way he's going to basically be, be uh, the CEO of the company. The third book is Final Offer. And I think right off the bat, um, from reading the blurb, like on the internet, um, I could pick up a strong theme of like alcohol abuse, like to addiction and having to deal with addiction. And then in order for him to have access to the inheritance, he has to go and basically live in a, a a lake house wisteria lake house for like all of summer which is like three months and after that he has to sell the house when he arrives at the lake house he opens the door it's his ex from six years ago and he broke her heart so you can imagine we see there's tension in the air and stuff like that and then obviously he's like Yemana, what are you doing in this house and she's like Yemana, my name is on the deed so obviously now it's it's gonna be a problem because isn't it he has to sell the house at the end of summer in order for him to get the inheritance but then she's living there. So he has to convince her to sell the house that she now calls home. Also, these books, guys, like, I think what really drew me to the, this particular book set was the, 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 the art inside. Like, I just wanted to see, you know, in South Africa, my land, sometimes the, the chapters or the books, they don't look the same and stuff like that. For example, look here, chapter 50. Um like the chapter dividers like it it looks like they took time like like i really feel like that's alien now and also they give like um a playlist and stuff like that i don't think i know any of these songs ariana grande at least i know <laughs> At least I know Ariana Grande and Taylor Swift, everybody else. I'm just like, no. But anyway, she gives us like a playlist. I don't necessarily read with a like read with music because I love music so much. I literally will will start like dancing and singing and leave the book alone. So I literally read in silence. But I like the fact that they kind of give us the mood for the book uh, by giving us the playlist. The books that I got. <sighs> and like i'm super super excited like i can't wait to read these and i can't wait to come and tell you that i am still team jeremiah bye <laughs>